Hello there. Disclaimer first, this is not a negative review of Nextcloud. You know those toys that you tend to buy, like maybe phones or whatever other toy that like has so many features, it can do this, it can do this and that and that, and it, it's so good value, you know, but you end up kind of using only one feature. Do you know which ones I'm talking about? Yeah, okay, that's that's up to you. We, uh, we all have those, you know, <laughs> toys that... Um, that we tend to, I don't know how to put it in words, but you know, you, you, you buy it and you don't really use it uh, to its full potential. I think Nextcloud is a little bit like that. I don't remember how long has it been since I have installed it for myself. Could be half a year, could be a year uh, now. I don't think I have ever done a proper review on it. And the reason for that is the things that I review, I usually use them. And the next cloud, I didn't really use it. Um, how, how this happened? So I really need a network storage device. I really, really need it. And for the longest of times I have been, um, I don't know how to say it in English, in Croatian, it would be, uh, you know, šlepatise. I, I have been uh patching i suppose my way about having all kinds of storage you know storage in my laptop storage in my computer uh, storage on my external drive uh backup here backup there uh this thing zipped up and backed up never unpacked never sorted uh, i don't know what is on this drive i don't know what is on that drive it's all a one big mess and for, for the longest of times, I really, really needed that NAS and I started building one. And you have probably seen uh, a video of mine where I have created my first NAS, let's call it version one. And that's what, that was a really cheap build and it was kind of practical, terribly, terribly slow, but it did work. Um, it did work and um, I have had a ZFS file system on it, uh, that's good. I have had uh, the uh, two drives for the for the starters on it, that, that was fine. ZFS, uh, did I say ZFS? I think I did. Uh, basically it was Debian and all, all that it was good. Uh, but it wasn't good enough. So my version 2 is like TrueNAS software, that one is really really good. Uh, it's also also free software. Uh, it, it is based on Linux, and um, I have four drives in there right now in ZFS um, RAID Z2 uh, mode, which means basically that you can lose uh, two drives at the same time without losing any of your data. How this works is a topic for another video, I'm not going to bother you with that now, uh, but suffice to say that I have um, four hard drives and two of them are fully redundant. Uh, so it, it's kind of good because if one drive fails, uh, I can take it um, to the warranty if it's one of those that has warranty because I have bought some uh, refurbished um, or, or used and uh, when that one is being replaced i still have one more uh, to fail on me before um, before it gets critical right <laughs> so even if two of them fail uh, it, it becomes critical but my data is still not lost um, i do have uh, another nas uh, it's actually here but not fully in use just yet that one is supposed to be my offsite backup but to put the long story short, how is this a next cloud topic? So what I have imagined in the beginning is that my next cloud is going to be my raw data storage. You know, the, the thing that keeps my raw data 
uh, in place and without the fear of losing data. While the next cloud is going to be sitting on top of that as another layer, if that makes sense in this context, uh, which will allow me to do some cool stuff. The most obvious uh, cool factor of Nextcloud is being able to synchronize um, your data across different computers. So basically you install your Nextcloud desktop software uh, on your laptop, another one on your desktop PC, uh, you can install it also on your uh, smartphone to back up your photos or stuff like that. Uh, but basically what it comes down to is uh, having the same set of data on all of your devices. However, uh, this functionality already falls short on me uh, simply because most of my data is either my programming attempts which takes up very little space uh, or uh, it's my videos that I do and this takes up a lot of space and my videos I don't really want to have synced across my computers of course in Nextcloud software the, the client one on your desktop you can tell it not to sync uh, these or those folders but if you don't sync those folders, then where's the backup? Um, it, it gets a little bit convol conv convoluted, is it the word? I don't know. Um, what I ended up doing in the past year or so, since, since I have uh, a NAS uh, storage, is basically I do everything on my desktop PC in terms of handling these videos that I upload. Um, and when my drive on my desktop fills up a little bit, I just move it to the NAS. And that's about it. It's just another folder that is mounted on both my desktop and my laptop. I, I just drag and drop it on my NAS and it moves over there. If I need anything from my storage, from my previous um, recordings, uh, my, my thumbnail sources, my um, whatever sources, I just go into the network folder and I take what I need. The network folder on Linux basically behaves uh, as it's a local folder. It is a little bit slower because of the networking speed, but that's about it. There is no real need for me to use Nextcloud for this. When it comes to my programming, I tend to program everything on my server and it's, I, I don't know how to say this, but I don't really synchronize this anywhere. Not that this data is much important, it's all my practice anyway. And for the things that I did want to save keep, I usually just git upload it. Uh, usually for all of you to, to, benef to benefit from those, yeah. So I'm, I'm starting to get somewhere with this, right? Um, the photo upload functionality from a smartphone to the next cloud is okay. It's okay. I have also started testing the image software. Uh, I think it's spelled like I-M-M-I-C-H. Uh, it's a German free software that does only one thing and it does it really good. Um, this one is just for photo upload from your smartphone uh, to your um, server. And the big difference between the Nextcloud photo upload and image photo upload is that image kind of sits on your raw hard drive on your network storage while the Nextcloud is, it has all, all, all this kind of overlay so whatever is inside the Nextcloud bubble on your network storage you are not supposed to touch that 
uh, directly uh, via the NFS mount, your Samba mount, your FTP, SFTP, um, whichever. You have to access this bubbles content via the web browser or via the uh, Nextcloud sync client. So this kind of makes it, uh, it, it's kind of not coherent. It feels a little bit stupid even because my biggest wish was to have a network storage that I can access from this computer, from that computer or the third one in a very easy way. But I wanted my data to be there on those raw hard drives. It is RAID Z, but it's still on a hard drive, not layered up on top with some, um, you know, overlay and the like Nextcloud is. So whatever I ended up uploading with Nextcloud, it seemed, it seemed a little bit further away from me. And I'm not really sure if I can translate my thoughts to words exactly, but I really enjoy being able to reach my files uh, sorted into folders. And this is what raw network storage offers to me. And the next cloud kind of complicates this for me. So I just ended not using the file sync at all from the next cloud, just normal folder mount from my network storage. Um, there are a lot of other functionalities. Uh, Nextcloud can be your calendar, pretty much out of the box. It can be your, um, how do you say it, phone book, uh, pretty much out of the box. Uh, it can do email for you, although it's not an email server, but just an email client, which then connects to the um, email server, your IMAP email server, whichever you use. Um, so I suppose it's like your own webmail of sorts, but I tried using it and it didn't um, sync all my emails. Like I was 100% sure that I got some new emails and they just didn't show up. So I just deleted the software uh, altogether. It's, it's, um, if it doesn't work from reliably from the first attempt, uh, this just gives me uh, and uh, a vision that is going to make it really difficult for me to handle email via, via this way. Uh, but also I, I was like trigger happy to delete it because I don't really want uh, a webmail client. I like to use uh, solid desktop email applications, executable ones. I don't care which programming language it's written in, but it has to be a native desktop application. This is how I like doing it. Um, so that's your PIM, personal inf information management, right? Email, calendar, um, phone book, not good with Nextcloud. Uh, photos, uh, I, I didn't like it, how it works. Um, file sync, I didn't like it, how it works. So. The next cloud thing, I think is great for bigger companies. For personal usage, eh, I don't know. I don't know. I, I'm trying to justify to myself why have I installed all of that? Why ha have I bothered? Why have I uh, put so much effort into making it just work and believe me, the next cloud can be made to just work. I have used a their Docker container model. Uh, it basically updates itself. It itself updates its own containers uh, for all of the services that it has, and um, it's almost maintenance free. There are some log files that you should be monitoring and um, occasionally there are some errors that requires a little bit of attention, but all in all their Docker model is pretty low maintenance. And from that standpoint, I can't really say that it was a bothersome for me to have this installed. However, uh, more than a zero of maintenance on a software that I really never used 
it's kind of telling on its own so the entirety of this video was to pre prepare you uh, to answer one of my questions what do you think of the concept of nextcloud do you use it how you use it how many users do you have like it it is is it just you is it your entire family or do you host it maybe for more people um, I, I just need to understand what kind of profile of the user is fit for a layer of software on top of network storage uh, such as nextcloud and basically should i just delete nextcloud from my server uh, free up like 8 gigs of storage uh, 8 uh, gigs of ram actually i meant ram uh, and just continue my network storage as i have been doing it for the past year thank you for watching I'm going to see you in the next video.